Hey everybody, welcome back. And I am back with you this week to bring you the CVS coupon deals um, for this week, which today is July 25th. Um, this is just going to be a CVS haul, no Walgreens this time, just CVS. Um, but before we get going, please make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Um, we're going to do next giveaway 500 subscribers, so please subscribe so that we can get there. Um, also, my ferrets are sleeping like right over here to my side and one of them is snoring so I'm sorry if you hear like a random weird noise during this video it is her snoring um it's a rainy crappy day and they're taking advantage of it okay so for this haul I did have a 30% off coupon so I'll let you know what I was able to use that on um, also, I finally have the manufacturer's coupons on my app, which I'm not sure how I feel about it. I didn't use any of them. Um, I didn't load any to the card to, to try and use them because I didn't want it to screw up like what I already had on paper. Lord knows I don't need any help screwing up what I already have down on paper. Um, so I definitely didn't want to try it. I will probably like load one up there and just buy something just to see if it works, but I didn't want to take any chances this time around. Um, also with this haul, I broke the register yet again. Um, luckily, I don't know if you guys remember last time when I did it, uh, half of my ECBs didn't print and they had to like try and figure out how many I was missing. This time around though, just, um, I got all accounted for except for this one cut off at the barcode. This was the 50 cents off for the, um, for the gum, but everything else is accounted for. So I'm all right there. But again, I broke the register and, but they're really good there. Like it's the same crew and like we were joking and laughing. And so, you know what I mean? It's not like. Anywhere else, like if it was Walgreens, I probably would have ran out of the store. But um, luckily it was CVS and my normal CVS and they're really cool there. So it worked out well. All right, so let's get going. I will do all of the stuff that I didn't have, that the 30% didn't apply to. Um, we'll do that first. So the Mitchum was on sale. So that obviously didn't count. They were buy one, get one 50% um, off. So they are $4.49 at my store. So then half price on the other is $2.24. So that's $6.73. Um, I had two of the $1 off coupons. So I used both of those. So that's $4.73. Um, you get $2 ECBs when you buy two. So that puts it at $1.36 each. Um, not like a bang up deal, but still good. I went in with a lot of ECBs, so I... I definitely took advantage, um, took advantage of it. All right, so the Colgate toothbrushes, um, they were on sale, so I couldn't use 30%, so they were $3.39 each. So for two of them, because you could do the deal twice, so I just did it twice. Um, so it's $6.78. Um, I had, oh, I only had one coupon. It was a dollar off of two, so technically I had to buy two. Um, so that's $5.78 for the two. Um, so you get a $2 ECB when you buy one. So I ended up getting a $4 ECB because I bought the two. So then that brings it down to $1.78 or $0.89 cents each. So this actually worked out pretty good. Um, yeah, I had to buy two because of my coupon. My, my newspaper is weird. Like I get... I'm sure I've said it before, I have two papers in this area and one paper, the coupon value was always higher than the other newspaper, so I don't know, it doesn't make any sense, but okay, so the Irish Spring also on sale was $3.99. Um, I had a dollar off uh, paper coupon, which put me at $2.99. Um, you do get a dollar fifty back when you buy one, so it puts it at a dollar fifty. Um, 
I thought it was going to be 30% off. I didn't realize that $3.99 was the sale price, so I didn't understand why it wasn't 30 So that's why I did that deal, thinking that it was going to be a little bit cheaper, but that's all right. My son uses it, so we're all good there. Um, so the Colgate mouthwash. This was one of the deals that when you go to the coupon um, machine at the front of the store, it's going to print an extra coupon for you that you could stack with whatever coupons that you have. Um, so it's Colgate Total. Um, I believe you have to get Total. I don't think any of the other ones, I wouldn't attempt it because everything says Colgate Total, like all the coupons. So I would stick with the Colgate Total. Um, this is $3.99. They're saying that's on sale as well. So 30% didn't count. Um, so $3.99. I had a $1.50 off. Um, I believe that one was from coupons.com I printed it. I, I should have wrote it down because I don't remember. Um, and then also the coupon machine printed a dollar fifty off. So right off the bat, you're getting three dollars off. So it put it at 99 cents. So there you go. Soft soap also was one of the uh, deals that it printed a dollar off coupon at the uh, at the coupon machine. So these is also was three dollars and forty nine cents. Did not realize that was the sale price, but um, so I had a dollar off coupon. So now this is a perfect example of my newspapers. So one newspaper had a seventy five cent off coupon, which I would have been fine with. But then when I went through my other newspaper, that one had it as a dollar off. So clearly I'm going to use the dollar off. So I had my dollar off paper coupon. I had the $1 off from the machine, so that gives me $1.49 as a total. No ECBs back or anything like that, but $1.49, so not horrible. Um, all right, so the swap. So here's where it gets a little screwy. I did have a couple coupons that, um, that didn't scan, and I, like, I don't know. I was watching the cashier trying to figure out what he was doing. Um, and if you can see here, he did a manufacturer's coupon for $6. I didn't have a $6 manufacturer's coupon. Um, honestly, I think what he did is he just added the three coupons together that wouldn't scan and just put them in at $6. Um, I know, um, this is going to annoy me. The Irish Spring didn't scan. The Kotex coupon didn't scan. And I'm thinking the Suave one didn't scan. So these are included um, in the two for six and then when you buy two, you get a $2 ECB. So that includes the, um, I don't know if they call it hair care, but this is actually the dry shampoo and it had the sticker on it that said, you know, two for, two for six and then you buy two. So my coupon from the paper was buy one, get one free. So I thought this would be a bang up deal if you're only paying, I don't know, whatever it is. I mean, they're two for six, but it's whatever, I guess, whatever they take off for the amount, whatever the maximum of the coupon is. And I didn't look, honestly, to see what the maximum was. So I think he just gave me $3 off is what it looks like. So they are two for six. So I had the buy one, get one free. So it took, I'm going to say it took $3 off because that's what it looks like on the receipt. Um, and then you get $2 back when you buy two. So it ends up putting it at 50 cents each. So the other coupons, the Suave, the shampoo coupons were um, $3 off two. And also the really big ones were included. Uh, I don't know if that's the 28 ounce of the Suave. So the green ones, the 28 ounce green ones were included as well as the gold ones. And then that's all they had for hair care if you want to consider it hair care, um, that's all I saw there. So 50 cents each is not bad for, for dry shampoo. All right. So then the Kotex, there's another one that didn't scan. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure why, but, um, they were on sale two for eight. Um, I had the paper coupon $3 off, uh, two. And then I also had the CRT for a dollar 50 off any feminine care. So right there, that puts me at $3.50. Um, you get a $3 ECB when you buy two. So then that puts the total at $0.25 cents each. 
which is pretty amazing. So there we go. And so now that was it. Oh wait, no, the gum actually wasn't on sale. So the gum obviously is 99 cents. It's on sale 99 cents and you get a 50 cent ECB back, which puts you at 49 cents for the gum. And then of course, if you're anything like me and you break your store's computer, uh, you may not get your 50 cents because it's going to cut off. And I didn't notice it until I left the store, honestly. Like, I just looked quick and they were like, no, your receipt printed. And luckily, it was only 50 cents. I didn't want to have to go back for for any more than that. Um, all right, here we go. So the 30% off. So there's no way, obviously, to calculate how much came off of, like, each one of the things. Um, the 30% off in total took off $24.29. So, um, and I had a $3 off 12 for cosmetics, but on the receipt, it literally lists it on every single thing that's cosmetic. So it just comes off as a whole. So we also have, we also have that. I really didn't have any good CRTs, honestly, um, this week. I was a little upset, but that 30% saved the day. Um, what I didn't have coupons for um, were these. There was no um, ECBs or coupons or anything, but um, I absolutely love these highlighters. The um, Precious Petals is like my everyday go-to, and then this one I was never able to find, um, Crown of My Canopy, and when I did buy this, I bought it at Walgreens. I had never, ever, ever seen these at CVS. Like, I always checked, and my CVS never had them. So I happened to be walking by the display and they had one, one left of Crown of My Canopy. So I just grabbed both. With They're $4.99 and then with the 30% off, like, I, I had to. <laughs> so the Gillette is the next up item, 30, um, the 30% off. So these are the little tiny ones. They are included in the buy two. Um, when you buy two, you get a $2 ECB. So those are actually included. So they are $1.49 each. Um, so that's $2.98 for two. So I had a $2 um, CRT for Gillette or Venus, which I thought was for razors. Um, but it ended up taking off for um, the shave gel. So I'm not 100% sure why. Also, it's a $2 um CRT, but it took off $1.84. So I don't know if you could see right here. It says $2 off Gillette or Venus, and then it took off $1.84. So I'm not sure what happened there, but hey, it's something that I didn't bank on getting, so I'll take it. So that $1.84, we'll say, because it didn't take off $2, it took off $1.84. So that puts it at $1.14 for both. Then you're getting a $2 ECB when you buy two. So it's be, it's an 80 cent, 86 cent money maker, which is amazing. Like I'll take it. Plus the 30% off. So it's an even higher money maker because you're getting 30% off of that. Um all right. So Sally Hansen. These are 3.29 at my store. Um so when you buy when you spend 12, you get a $6 ECB. Um, so I bought four of them, which puts me at $13 and 16 cents. Um, I did not have any coupons for these, but the 30% off did count. I knew they weren't on sale. So I did do this anyway. Um, so you get $6 back, which puts them at $1.79 each. Um, it would have been better if I had the coupons, but the only coupons I did have were for like the complete manicure, which is like $9. And then the other one with the oil in it, which is like higher than that. So I'd rather get more nail polish for the money than just get, you know, one color. So I grabbed those four plus the 30% off. So a little less than $1.79 each. Um, so the e.l.f. was um, when you spend eight, you get $3 ECBs. Um, this aqua primer I thought was five dollars. It was labeled five dollars. Apparently I looked at the um I looked at the wrong thing. This was actually eight dollars. So all I would have had to buy was this 
to get my ECB, but I did not know. So I grabbed this um, concealer as well, which was $4. Uh, so it ended up, so and I ended up spending $12, getting $3 back. So it put me at $9, but it's 30% off. So it's a little bit less when all I could have bought was that. But that's my fault because I checked the wrong, the wrong like tag. I thought $5 was pretty good for that. I was all excited until I saw my receipt. And I'm like, oh, well, there you go. All right, Neutrogena. So they are $6.99 each in my store, 30% off because they are not on sale. These are from the cosmetic section. Um, so I did have a coupon from the paper, which was um, get $2 off of two, which was perfect. Um, so that's $11.98. So when you buy two, you get a $6 ECB. Um, so that puts me at $2.99 each. Um, these smell amazing, so I don't mind. For something I use every day, like, I don't mind. $2.99 is kind of high, but 30% off makes it a little bit less, but these smell amazing. I love these. All right, there we go. Then we've got Physician's Formula. Everyone knows this is my favorite. So now they've upped it a little bit. Now you have to spend $20 to get $10. Um, they did the same thing last week spend 20 get 10 um I didn't have the percentage off but I did have the um five off of 20 um so that's why I did the the 20 dollars there but this time around I don't have it because I used it so um so this was 13.79 and then this was um nine dollars in 29 cents so that put me at 23.08 you get $10 back when you spend 20 so it puts me at $13.08 for both, not on sale, so that also includes the 30% off. And also the Revlon. I normally don't do Revlon cosmetics, like I don't think I honestly have much of anything Revlon, um, but I did want to try um, this foundation, so this actually works out really good. So in my store, the foundation is $15.49. Um, I had a $3 off Revlon face coupon, so I used that, so it's $12.49. When you spend $15, you get $5 back. So it puts me at $7.49, but with the 30% off, it puts it a little less. And then, um, yeah, it puts it out a little less. Like, I wish there was an easier way to figure out so, like, you could get a better visual on, like, how much stuff is. But, yeah, so that is the haul. So the 30% off, like I said, took off $24.29. Um, I did have the $3 off 12 for cosmetics. I used um, $53 in ECBs, and I got $44 back. Um, my son also got soda. They are $1.99 or $1.50 each when you buy two. And the 30% off actually went towards his soda as well. So um, that always that always works out good. I always tell him to grab two because he always just grabs one. Um, all right, so as we can see here, here is my total. So it was $31.49 for everything you see there. And I saved 81% of my total. And then, so here we go. So there's $2. So we got all, we got everything here just so you can see my gigantic, gigantic receipt. Ba, 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 ba. And then my 50 cents that got cut off. I don't know if they're going to give that to me, but that's okay. Yeah, so that is all I have. Another interesting day of breaking <laughs> the computer at CVS and crashing the register, but all in, all in good fun. Um, so I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe before you leave so we can get to 500 subscribers for the next giveaway. Um, and until the next video.